somebody shout prayer, prayer, prayer. Prayer, prayer, prayer. And I said there are two personalities Nikasema, kuna utu, aina mili. that we are going to silence tonight. Amado, leo. Number one, we are talking about vengeance against your mockers. Sana, tunasema, kisasi, kinyume na wadhihaki wako. Those that keep mocking your life. Wale, wanaendelea kukudhihaki mashani. We are talking about vengeance. Tunazungumza kuhusu kisasi juu yao. And secondly, na ya pili, we'll be silencing our accusers. Very, very important. And I pray for somebody here that whatever has been mocking your destiny, I say whatever, whoever mocks your destiny, they are also due for a curse. I say they are due for their curse. Whatever has been mocking your destiny in Christ. I prophesy tonight they are due for destruction. Whatever has been cursing you it is also entitled for a curse. Can you raise your hand and say my father, my father change my story. My father, my father change my story. Genesis chapter 12 verse number 3 God spoke to Abraham after the call. And he says, and I will bless them that bless you. I will bless them. Them. Wow. Those are many. I will bless them that bless thee. And number two. And cast him. Nakumlani and cast him. Nitamlani. Him is a person. Huyo moja ni mtu. Somebody say him is a person. Sema mwe ya ni mtu. And he says and cast him that cast you. Nitamlani e anayakulani. So what you need to understand? Kile unatakiwa kuelewa. God is ready to react. Mungu yuko tayari kujibu. He is ready to react. Yuko tayari kujibu. To anyone who has ever raised a finger against you. Kwa yeye tamainua kidola kinyume na mashaka. And he says I will cast. Him that curses you. I will not be wrong if I say that God is swearing. I will fight those who fight you. I will destroy those who destroy you. I will finish those who finish you. So you must be excited tonight. Because before the cock crows, whoever stood beside your door to close it. They are due for judgment. They are due for judgment. When we talk about a night vigil, when we talk about night vigil, there is something I want you to know. The power of night vigil. Leave this one first. In Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. So that we may know what we will be encountering tonight. Paul writing to Ephesians. Now Ephesus. Ephesus. is the current Turkey. I understand it. Ephesus is where Turkey is. Ephesus ni mahali kuna ito uturuki leo. I understand it. Unanielewa. So that is part of the prophetic or apostolic missions of Paul. Na hepo nipo Paul aliweza kutembelea katika safari zake na umishonaji. He told the people in Turkey. Aka wambia watu wakule uturuki. That is Ephesians. Ambapo ni Ephesus. Finally, my brethren. Mwishowe ndugu zangu. Finally. Mwishowe. In closing. Hafa hatimai katika kukunga. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Mkawe hodari katika buwana na katika weza wangubu zake. Be very strong. Mkawe hodari. Be might. Be energized in the Lord and in the power of His might. How? By putting on the whole armor. Putting on the whole armor of God. And what is the purpose of the armor? That you might be able to stand against. So there are forces you must stand against. Whether you like it or not. Whether you know it or not. That you may be able. That you may have the ability. To stand against. 
against. Standing against means you be able to resist. You be able to counteract the wiles of the devil. The strategies of the devil. Any plan of the enemy. How are you to fight him? Number one, by understanding his hierarchy. Understanding his protocol. Number one, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against principalities. Against powers. And not only that. Against the rulers of darkness. Somebody say rulers of darkness. Somebody say rulers. I can't hear you. Rulers. Can you say watawala wagiza? Watawala wagiza. Somebody say rulers of darkness. Watawala wagiza. Tell your neighbor you have to talk tonight. Mwambie jirani lazima ongee leo. Tell your neighbor you have to talk tonight. Lazima uongee leo. Tell your neighbor there is the grace of Greece. Kuna neema ya Ugiriki. Bwana tukuzwe sana. Amen. There is the grace of Greece. Kuna neema ya Ugiriki. So he says, Wewe anasema, we are in a battle. Sisi tuko vitani. And against the rulers of darkness. Na juu ya matawala wa giza. So there are rulers called rulers of darkness. Right now they are on duty. But you are being here is making their projects impossible. Uh, hey. You are being here tonight. Whatever Satan was intending to do against your life, against your family, it will not happen. Because we shall fight the rulers of darkness. Some say rulers of darkness. Wherever you are, tonight, you shall scatter. Sema watawala wagiza. Watawala wagiza. Where are you? Kowapi. Hear the word of the Lord. Catch fire. Jomeka. Hey. Hey. So they are out there. But tonight we will make their lives difficult. Any sorcerer. Any witch. That was planning to come out of their house. They will encounter fire. They will encounter thunder. Somebody say every sorcerer. Targeting my life tonight. Your days are over. You shall be buried. You shall be buried. You shall be buried. Hey, mm. rulers of darkness. What wagiza Rulers of darkness. wagiza. They wake up this is their hour. And when Jesus was coming to be arrested, they arrested him in the night. And this is what Jesus said. This is your hour. And the powers of darkness. Why didn't you arrest me during the day? This is your hour. And the power of darkness. So whatever was planning to arrest you shall be arrested in the name of Jesus. I say whatever was planning to arrest you shall be arrested in the name of Jesus. Follow me closely. So rulers of darkness in this world they rule in the night hour. In the night hour is divided into four. Is divided into four. Six to nine is called the first watch. Hey, from six to nine is called the first watch. From nine to midnight this hour we are in is called the second watch of the night. 
Are you understanding? The second watch of the night. From midnight to 3 a.m. It is called the third watch of the night. And the third watch of the night is the worst watch of the night. That is where the worst demonic powers manifest. But tonight they will regret. I said tonight they will regret. I said tonight, I said, tonight Leo, may your destiny be released. Whoever cast you in the night I am here in the night to return the cast. To return the cast. Somebody say my father my God any man or woman that cast me in the night tonight I cast them hey if you realize somebody has started dozing hey change the sitting position change immediately change where you are sitting the powers of the night. And there is so much we can talk about the powers of the night. But just an example. In Matthew chapter 13. 24. Follow this closely. Because I want you to know why are we here in this night. So when we start praying. You pray like a wounded lion. Or you charge like an elephant with a baby. Hey. hey. Protecting the baby. Matthew 13.24 Another parable put forth unto them saying the kingdom of heaven is likened and to a man which sowed good seed in his farm. This somebody who had good intentions. He was expecting a harvest after 10 months. One year. Six months. So he sowed good seeds. Put fertilizer. And the weather was good. And he knew my land is fenced. So animals will not interfere. So he sowed good seeds. But how many of you know? Jesus talked about a seed. And he said, unless a corn of grain falls into the ground and dies, it abides alone. But fruitfulness must manifest after it dies. So this man knew the principles of seed. So he sowed good seeds. And many of you that come from villages or you come from farms we used to go and plant seeds. My sister will dig the holes and will go behind her. We go behind her. When nobody is seeing you, put all of them. But they don't stay there forever. When they will start growing, your mother will know what you are doing. Will show them quickly. Two, 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 two. You look around, you put 50 together. Because you want to go home. And you know, you carried Ugali from home. It is under a tree somewhere. Hey. So you have to do everything quickly. Hey. But, the secret will be revealed when they grow. They don't live there forever. So this man knew after some time I will come back for a harvest. So Jesus is giving an example and he said he planted good seeds and but while men slept hey, right now 
Hivi sasa. There are people who are sleeping. Kuna watu wa malala. There are people asleep. Kuna watu wa malala for for for. Hey. Some are already dreaming. Wengine wanaota ndoto. The others are eating right now Na wengine wanakula katika ndoto wakati huu. Others are seeing snakes. Na wengine wanaona nyoka. Hey. Others are chewing meat in the dream. Na wengine wanatafuta nyama katika ndoto. Right at home. Wakiwa melala kitandani. Even here. Hata wengine wako hapa. You just wait you'll see someone. <laughs> As if they are at home. Ni kama wako nyumbani. When the spirit of slumber arrests you. Wakati roho ya usingizi kikuchika. It can put you down. So Jesus says Wewe Yesu anasema while men slept wakati watu walipolala and there is nothing as bad na kuna kitu kibaya when an enemy comes wakati in your sleep wakati umelala hey while men slept wakati watu walipolala his enemy came adui yake akaja somebody say my enemy sema adui yangu tonight usiku wa leo you miss the target wewe unakosa shabaha because i'm not asleep kwa sababu sijalala I understand it. Unasikia. While men slept, watu walipolala, his enemy came. Adui yake akaja. He came. Alikuja. What was he doing? Alikuwa anafanya nini? The maize you planted yesterday he added another. Pale mahindi uliyopanda jana akaongeza kitu kingine. He added something else. Akaongeza mbegu yake. He added something else. Akaongeza kitu kingine. Hey, while men slept, wakati watu walipolala, his enemy came. Adui yake akaja. So you must know. Kwa hivyo lazima ujue. Any time you start something good. Wakati wote unaanza kitu kizuri. Your enemy must follow. Lazima adui yako akufuate. The day you began a good business. Wakati ulianza biashara nzuri. And you shut the doors to go home. Na wewe ukafunga milango kwenda nyumbani. The enemy came to that shop. Adui alikuja kwa ile duka. That night. Usiku huo. Looked at the shop. Akaangalia lile duka. Released curses. Ye yeah, akafungulia lana. But today. Lakini leo. They will regret. Watajuta. <laughs> hey. Hey. Today Leo they will regret. Watachuta. The day you open a new shop. Wakati nafungua duka jipya. The whole day you were happy. Siku nzima ulikuwa mbaya. Everything was glittery. Kila kitu kilikuwa kinaangaza. In the evening you closed. Na jioni ukafunga milango. You even closed with a word of prayer. Oh na hata ukafunga kwa maombi. While men slept. Wakati watu walipolala. His enemy came. Adui akaja. kafanya vitu today leo today leo whoever did that yote alifanya mambo hayo whether they are dead or alive wale haya wamekufa they will regret watachuta somebody say my enemies sema adui yangu that came aliyekuja when i was asleep wakati nilikuwa nimelala before the cock crows kabla jogo kuika you shall expire utamalizika you shall expire utafika mwisho That's why people wonder. Ni posa watu wanashangaa. Yesterday had good sales. Jana niliuza vizuri. What happened today? Leo imekuaje? Nobody is even asking me what are you doing Hata here. Hata hakuna mtu anaeleza unafanya nini hapa. Kuna mtu adui alikuwa. While men slept. Wakati watu walilala. Fanya. I don't know what that means. You know what anashangaa nini? I don't know what. That... <laughs> I don't know what that... but that's what I used to hear people say. Lakini kwa nasikia watu wakisema hivyo. At Niagoba. <laughs> so I don't know. These are demonic people. Watu wa kipepo hawa. Hey Jesus Christ. May their hands wither. Mikono yao inyauke. May their hands wither. Mikono yao na inyauke. So while men slept, watu walipolala, his enemies came. Adui yake akaja. So when we talk about enemies, kwa hivyo tunapozungumza kuhusu maadui, that came in the night. Waliokuja usiku. These are the forces in Ephesians 6:10. Hiyo ndiyo anaelezwa katika Efeso 6. Rulers of darkness. Watawala wa giza. Rulers of darkness. Watawala wa giza. That is why it is important. Ni posa ni muhimu. When you're opening your door in the morning in your shop. Wakati unapunga duka la duka. Don't just start off. Usianze kazi tu. If the heaven starts with prayer. Kama wale wadhalimu wanaanza kwa maombi. Makafiri wanaanza na maombi. Wanachoma ubani kwa duka zao. Wewe ambaye umejua ukweli mbona ufungui na maombi duka yako? <laughs> Why? Kwa nini? Makafiri wanafungua duka wanafunga wanachoma ubani. Sinas. Hey, wanachoma ubani duka yote. 
na wanafungwa na yule anakuwa customer wa kwanza atakatiwa bei vile anataka wewe wa kwanza ndio unamuzia bei kali zaidi the difference is clear can you open your shop with prayers fungua duka lako kwa maombi can you open your shop with prayer fungua duka lako kwa maombi you will see the difference utaona tofauti ya siku hiyo anoint your business in the morning okatia mafuta kwa biashara yako asubuhi hey a woman had imported machines from italy mwanamke mmoja akaanza kutoa mashine kule nchi she brought them from italy to kenya akaondoa toa kule italy akaleta hapa mashine a sewing a sew mill ikoni ya kisiagi ya kisiagi hey kisiagi kubwa One month, two months, three months, no customer. Kwa miezi mitatu hakuna mteja. No customer. Hakuna mteja hata mmoja. Hey. And I say let me go and see. Nikasema acha nione. When I went there, nipoenda pale, outside the shop, nje ya duka, I found some rubbish. Nikapata takataka. Asked her, what is this? Nikamuuliza hii ni nini? Aonyesha pasa kuna wazi mwingine ulala hapa, hakuangi na maneno. Another mad man who stays here. Hakuagi na maneno. Hey, huyo ndio ana maneno, huyo ndio anabebeba maneno. He carries all the trouble. Yeah, ni mwenda wazimu tu anakujaga na lala hapa, asubuhi anaenda njia zake. Mad man who comes and goes. Hey, how? Ati hana maneno. Na hujauza miezi tatu na unasema hana maneno. Look at that. After importing machines from Italy. Baada ya kununua vifaa vya mashini kutoka Italy. 4 5 million milioni kama tano. na mashini hujawahi piga start iliwekwa magunia tumeweka za mind pale nobody ask what goes on kuna mtu anakuuliza there is an error lazima kuna makosa let me go and see wacha niende nione ndio nakuta hapo nje kuna takataka akaniambia kuna wazimu tu ulala hapa lakini hakuagi na maneno is a mad man who stays here but he has no trouble who told you hana maneno he is full Mwona of trouble kulala sokoni analala hapa why should he sleep outside your shop look at that I anointed the place. Katia mafuta mahali ile. I anointed the place. Katia mafuta kwa lile duka. If that I mean the wazimu come back here, can you chase him completely? Mwambie stay wazimu akirudi hapa, fukuza kabisa. Within a week. Baada ya wiki, ndio alianza kugurumisha hiyo mashine. Ndio kaanza isha ile mashine kutoka Italy. I'm telling you the truth. When you open your shops, unapofungua maduka hapo, don't assume I know what goes on in this town. Prostitutes stand on your shops. Kwamba makaba wanasimama nje ya duka lako. They outside in your shop. Wanasimama pale nje ya duka. I see them in town. Wanaona kule mjini. Some of your shops. Katika maduka mengine yenu. So you don't know what they do outside your shops. Kwa hivyo unajua prostitutes in this town. Makaba wa mjini. Somebody said today <laughs> we shall settle the matter. Tutamaliza kesi. We shall settle the matter. Tutamaliza kesi. I understand. While men slept. Watu waliponala. His enemies came. Akaja adui yake. And what did the enemy do? Adui akamfanya nini? He sowed tears. Akapanda magugu. So tears. Akapanda magugu. What you did not leave in your shop. Kile uko acha kwa duka lako. You may find it in the morning. Waweza kukipata asubuhi. Because while men slept. Kwa sababu watu waliponala. His enemies came. Adui zake walikuja. There is one ka street. Kuna mtaa mmoja. Prostitute line there ambapo makahaba wanapiga laini and there are people shop that are closed na kuna maduka ya watu yamefungwa the immorality done in that area oh na utendo unafanya pale sherehe highest level ni wa kiwango cha juu sana one man was doing his he has a sewing machine na mtu mmoja ambaye ana sherehani yake na shonaga just outside of one of the buildings go katika jumba moja nje and up there is story building there are lodgings up there na pale juu kuna ma lodgings huko people are wicked watu ni waovu anashona anaendelea na kushona vitu zake condom fell from there to his charan condom ikatoka na huko juu ikamwangukia kwa sharahani akaishona we live in a very weak hapo mali ana condom tena si condom mzee nile imemaliza kazi katupwa hapa hii town ile mambo wow. najua na hii town unajua nimezaliwa hapa <laughs> so huyu jamaa anangojea suruali yake iwekwe kiraka imalizwe aliona <laughs> akawa huyu fundi asma hii vitu nimezoea 
akatoa anaka hii vitu nimezoea hapa wako huku juu wote hapa look wow. at the wickedness in that town wobo mjini hey somebody say i have known the truth sema nimejua ukweli from tomorrow kuanzia kesho any man or woman mwanamume mwanamke yote passing my jurisdiction maana pitia vibama they mbamu. shall scatter by fire atatawanyika kwa moto hey While men slept watu walipolala his enemies came akaja adui yake hey they come at night wanakuja usiku so you have closed your shops in town wewe umefunga duka lako mchana and you have gone at home na umeenda nyumbani somebody comes at night mtu anakuja usiku pole pole because they saw the sales of the day kwa sababu waliona ulivyouza siku hiyo they saw what was going on today waliona nini kilikuwa kinaendelea so while you are asleep wewe ukiwa umelala hey Mm. That is why the sticker not my head not my blood. Ni ponsa ile sticker not my head not my blood. It should not leave your door. Sitoke kwa mlango wako. Eh I'm telling you the truth. Mwambie ukweli. Put it in your shops. Weka kwa duka. Not my head not my blood. Sio kichwa changu sio damu yangu. I see which sorcerer will pass there. Yone ni mchawi gani atapitia karibu nao. Can you raise your hand somebody my father my god. Sema baba Mungu wangu. As I pray. Ninapoomba. Tonight. Usiku wa leo. I bury my enemies. Mimi nawasika maadui zangu. I understand. Wanielewa. Things that happen in the night. Vitu vinavyotendeka usiku. They are amazing and shocking. Zinashangaza na kushua. You can't explain what happens. Wewe eleza yanayotendeka. Listen to this. I will curse those who curse you. Mimi nitalaani wale wanaokulaani. And bless those who bless you. Nitawabariki wakubariki yao. So God will always react. Wewe kila wakati Mungu atajibu. To any attempt kwa kina hali ya majaribu attempting to harass or molest your life mtu yote anayejaribu kuharibu maisha yako makubaliana look at this mark chapter 11 from verse 12 tuangalie maandiko 11 hadi 12 this is a story of jesus in his hadithi kuhusu yesu is walking towards jericho yeye anatembea kuelekea yeriko through bethany kupitia bethania and this is what happened na hivi ndivyo ilivyotendeka and on the morrow when they were come from bethany hata asubuhi yake alipotoka bethania he was hungry aliona ncha that means he had humanity nature kwa maanisha alikuwa na utu ndani yake he had human nature yeye alikuwa na asili ya mwanadamu so he was hungry kwa hiyo akapona nja and seeing a fig tree afar off akiona kwamba ali mtini wenye majani having leaves he came akaenda kwake if happily he might find anything there around ili labda aone kitu juu yake there around And when he came to it he found nothing but leaves Hakuona kitu ila majani Now this is a fig tree Hu ni mtini It is a fig tree Ni mtio anaitwa mtini But when he comes to this fig tree Lakini anapokuja kwa huu mtini He couldn't find the fruits Hakupata matunda Why Kwa nini For the time of figs was not yet Haukuwa wakati wa tini Listen to this Kiza So the tree didn't have fruits Why hivyo mti haukuwa na matunda Why it is not yet time kwa sababu sio majira look at this here and jesus answered and said to it akajibu akamwambia he told the tree aliwaambia ule mtini no man eat fruit of thee thereafter forever tangu hata leo mimi mtu yote asida matunda kwako hey Why does Jesus curse a tree? Kwa nini Yesu analaani mti? Yet it was not the season of fruits. Na haikuwa wakati wa matunda. Number one, Jambo la kwanza. He is the son of a creator and he himself is a creator. Kwamba yeye ni mtano wa mumbaji na yeye ni mumbaji. He is a creator. Yeye ndiye mumbaji. So the tree must give him what he needs. Kwa hivyo mti lazima umpatie kila anahitaji. The tree needed to supply fruits. Na mti ulitakiwa kutoa matunda. Whether it is a season or not. Ikiwa na majira yake ama sio majira. So when it could not produce. Wakati hayo ungeweza kutoa matunda. Jesus said, yes, wakasema, Let no man eat fruit of you there of again. Usiwe na mtu atakula matunda yako tena kuanzia leo. This tree was mocking the creator. Kwa sababu mti ulikuwa na mdhihaki mumbaji. It was mocking the creator. Ulikuwa na mdhihaki mumbaji. And his disciples had it. Oh, na wanafunzi wake wakasikia. His disciples had it. Wanafunzi wake wakasikia. As if that is not enough. The Bible says. Ahead, and they came to Jerusalem. Wakafika Yerusalemu. Went to the temple. Na yakaingia ndani ya hekalu. And all throughout as you can read the story later on. Soma hiyo hadithi yote kuendelea. Verse number 20. Mstari wa 20. They came again the following day. Asubuhi iliyofuata wakarudi. As they passed by. Walipokuwa kipita. They saw the fig tree 
dried up from the root. Waliona ule mtini umenyauka toka shinani. What does that mean? Hiyo ina maana sana. Whatever mocks the creator. Chochote ambacho kina dhihaki mumbaje. Cases it from the root. Yeye ana kilani kutoka kwa mizizi. Cases it from the root. Ana kilani kutoka kwa mizizi. 21 Peter was shocked. Petro akashtuka. And when he was calling to remembrance. Naye alipokumbuka habari yake. He remembered. Akakumbuka. And he said, "Master." Akamwambia rabi. Behold. Tazama. The fig tree which you cast. Tini ulio ulaani is withered away. Umenyauka. The fig tree you cast. Tini ulio ulaani is withered away. Umenyauka. This is a very interesting story. Hili hadithi ambayo nakusikia. And Jesus answering them he said to Yes akajibu akamwambia. Now Peter listen to this. Ha Petero sikiza. These things can work in the Mambo haya yanaweza kufanya kazi kwako. If you have faith kukiwa na imani in God what you cast is cast kila mnacho laani kinalaaniwa i say what you cast is cast kila unalaani kinalaaniwa so anything that does not produce for you kwa hivyo chochote ambacho kikupatii matunda it is due for a cast kiko tayari kulaaniwa but lakini faith in god imani nani amani activate your statements hiyo inaweza kukoroga maneno utakayotamka so what we cast today kwa hivyo kile tunalaani leo it will dry from the root kitakauka kwa mizizi I say what we shall cast today ile tutalaani leo it shall dry from the root kitakauka kwenye mizizi I say if there is diabetes in the house kama kuna ugonjwa wa sukari kwa nyumba I cast it from the root na ulaani kwa mizizi yake there is high blood pressure kama kuna high blood pressure I cast it from the root mimi na ulaani kwa mizizi any disease ugonjwa wa obote that does not glorify god kama hamtukuzi mungu sicknesses that mock god magonjwa maana mdihaki mungu yet god is a healer na mungu ni Ponyaji. That sickness will dry from the root. Ogonja utakauka kwenye mizizi. Raise your hand in anger. Hebu inua mkono wako. Somebody wakuzina. say my father my God. Sema baba Mungu wangu. Whatever you did not plant. Totote haukupanda. In my life. Ndani ya maisha yangu. I cast it now. Na kilaani sasa. I cast it now. Na kilaani sasa. Sema chochote. Chochote. Kinamea. Kinamea. Kwa maisha yangu. Kwa maisha yangu. I cast you today. Na kulaani leo. Hey. Look at the same Matthew 15:13. Make it to the scripture. Very important. 15:13. 15:13. 15:13. Look at what Jesus says. Ona vile Yesu anasema. He answered and said to them. Akajibu akasema, Every plant. Kila pando. Every plant. Kila pando. Which plant? Pando gani? That my heavenly Father has not planted. Asilo lipanda baba yangu wa mbinguni. Whatever the enemy planted. Chochote adui alipanda. While men slept. Wakati watu walilala. Tonight. Usiku leo. It shall be rooted out. Itangolewa. Somebody say I shall uproot it. Sema nitangoa. Ni kulala, ni kupumzika ama ni kusikiliza? Ah? Ni kusikiliza. I then talk to me. Basi ni nene kama unasikiza. Jesus says, Yesu anasema, every plant, kila pando, not planted by my heavenly Father. Lisilo pandwa na baba yangu wa binguni. What will happen to it? Nini kitatendeka kwa ke? Let's read together one two three. Louder one two three. Aha. What will happen? Sema kila magonjwa kila magonjwa in my body nani ya mwili wangu out toka that's what it means to uproot hiyo ndiyo inamaanisha kungoa that is what it means uprooting hiyo ndiyo inamaanisha kungoa the fig tree was dry dried ule mtini dried ulikuwa umenyauka because it was mocking the creator kwa sababu ulikuwa na mdhihaki muumbaji it was mocking the creator ulikuwa na mdhihaki muumbaji Isaiah 61 verse 2 katika Isaiah 61 moja mstari wa pili Isaiah 61 verse 2 when Jesus the proclamation of his coming in Isaiah wakati kutangazwa kwa Yesu kulitangazwa kwake about his coming kuja kuhusu kuja kwake added the following statement wakaongeza hali hii and also to proclaim the acceptable year of the lord kutangaza mwaka wa bwana ulikubaliwa and the day of vengeance na siku ya kisasi hey Somebody said the day of vengeance sema siku ya kisasi somebody said the day of vengeance sema siku ya kisasi Hey, I'm seeing some faces closing their eyes. No, If no. you are not praying, can you open your eyes? Kama uombi basi fungua macho. And I don't want your prayers. Don't pray for me. Just keep your eyes. Na usiniombe Said. Don't close your eyes. 
with an intention to pray for the pastor. Hey, pastor, I don't want to I don't want prayers. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> Every plant will be uprooted. How do you uproot? By putting on the garment of vengeance. Somebody say vengeance. <laughs> Somebody shout vengeance. <laughs> to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. And what is the purpose of this vengeance? Number one, to comfort all that mourn. So if you cannot release vengeance, then you continue mourning. Hey, hey. If you cannot release vengeance, you continue crying. But until vengeance is released, then mourning stops. Hey. Are you understanding? Until vengeance is proclaimed, people that are in Zion keep mourning. But when you announce vengeance, that any man or woman that pronounced a curse over my life, I release vengeance by fire. Hey, your tears will dry. I say your tears will dry. Your tears will dry. So without vengeance, mourning will continue. Mourning continues. So you must reach a point. Vengeance is your garment. I say vengeance should be your garment. You must call on the God of vengeance. When your destiny has no color. Vengeance is a requirement. When doors cannot open, vengeance is a solution. I say when marriage is not realized, when nobody is saying hello, vengeance is the answer. Somebody say any man or woman mocking my life. Tonight, your time is over. You shall be laid to rest. Hey. I pray for people tonight. We are not here to waste time. I believe your bed was more comfortable than the seat. But because you chose to come, may God embarrass your enemies. You will not live here the way you came. You will not cry after today. May your enemies cry your cry. May you pursue your enemies. Those who pursued you, may you be a game changer. It is your time to pursue them. It is your time to pursue them. After today, I enforce vengeance. I enforce I enforce vengeance upon your enemies. Every disease that has eaten all your manners, I enforce vengeance. I enforce vengeance in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hey, hey. any power that has harassed you, I am releasing unconditional vengeance. I say vengeance. Ezekiel 11.13 Tonight your mockers will be laid to rest. I say mockers. People that ask you where is your God. God will answer them by fire. Listen to this. And it came to pass when I prophesied that Pelatia the son of Benaiah Died. As I prophesy, and as I prophesy today, every Pelatia, son of Benaya, shall die. I say every Pelatia in your village, every Pelatia running at night around your business, as I prophesy, every Pelatia. In Nakuru, in Nairobi, they shall die. Hey, 
As I prophesy, as I release vengeance, Belatia, Belatia that has been cursing me, Belatia, Belatia that closed my doors, Belatia, Belatia, Belatia that swore I cannot be married, as I prophesy, Belatia, Belatia da. Somebody shout da. Somebody said da. Say my ayote. Ana eroga. Biashara yangu. Where are you? Who are you? Tonight. Die by fire. 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 Die Somebody say, my father, my God, my father, my God, as I prophesy, as I prophesy, every pelatia, every pelatia in my family, in my family, every pelatia, every pelatia in my business, in my business, who are you? Seated a minute. I am laughing because of the next scripture. Hey, this will blow your mind. Hey, Hebrews 11:29. This is for a specific person. <laughs> this is for a specific person. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Jiko Shatayada. Put it in message or another translation. Rosa Katayandala. It was by faith that the people of Israel went through the Red Sea as though they were on dry ground. But, but when the Egyptians tried to do the same business, ah, uh, you didn't hear me. When the Egyptians they tried to do the same. The Bible says they were drowned. They were drowned. Vengeance in the house. Vengeance is in the house. Yeah. Yeah. They shall drown. They shall drown. They shall drown. Hey, Master. Look at that. Is there any other translation? <laughs> but when they tried to follow, another translation says they were swallowed. So, kuna mtu anakupatia kompe. Ukianza kitu anaanza. Ukianza anaanza. Lisa Ayeko Soyoda. Can we read together? One, two, three. By faith they passed through the Red Sea. As by dry land. Which the Egyptians are said to do. We swallowed up. Second, every enemy following your business, they shall be swallowed. Yes. 
yes. they shall be swallowed. Yes. Every man or woman yes. that has been contending. Yes. Hey. Yes. They are contending for your husband. They are called a slave queen. They shall be swallowed. Yes. They shall be swallowed. Yes. Every strange woman yes. pursuing your husband. Yes. They shall be swallowed. Swallow. Somebody says swallow them. Swallow them. Hey. Releasing vengeance against your mockers. Nobody will ever imitate your business. I'm telling you the truth. What you do is original. Anyone attempting to open another hotel like yours, they shall be swallowed. Hey. You are contenders <laughs> before the cock crows. I say before the cock crows, you will find the lorry packed. They are vacating. They are vacating. They are vacating. I prophesy before the cock crows, every competitor, every competitor, they shall be swallowed. They shall be swallowed. Somebody say, my father, my God. As I pray tonight, swallow my enemies. Swallow my enemies. Hey. Hey. Look at your neighbor in the eyes. Hey. Hey. Be seated. Jesus Christ. Wow. I will curse him that curse you. <laughs> Tonight is a night. Your enemies are due for a curse. They are due for a curse. Una apply mkopo and a cancel. Una apply mkopo and a cancel. <laughs> The next one they cancel. Unless I am not a man of God. If they cancel another one. Unless I am not a man of God. They shall be swallowed. Hey. Am I talking to someone? They will never cancel your documents. Let them try after tonight. Let them try after tonight. In the name of Jesus. Hey, listen. I went to the Greece embassy. I had all my... They need all th documents like this. And I went. I found a young lady. I gave her. She looked at me. What are you going to do? I'm going for mission work. Returned my documents. And said, come for your visa. <laughs> Listen. Skia. We were sitting with this lady. She said, Pastor, <laughs> I said, if I'll be given, nobody will be denied. <laughs> so I went first. I Why came out smiling. The second one went. She came out smiling. Listen, the third one that's the other one. When they went, they came out frowning. <laughs> Am I talking to someone? They doubted one meter before they got. Death and life are in the power of your tongue. Am I talking to someone? I pray <laughs> everywhere I have been approved you shall also be approved you shall be approved by the grace in the house any man closing your doors tonight they will be transferred by the time they wake up there will be a transfer letter they shall be transferred by fire somebody shall fire Fire, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 
visited, <laughs> your mockers will regret after today. Hey, Jesus Christ. <laughs> By faith, they crossed the Red Sea. <laughs> like dry land. But, Lakini, but, Lakini, <laughs> when the Egyptians tried, wa jaribu, when they tried, jaribu, there are people trying to do what you do. Kuna watu wanajaribu kile unafanya. <laughs> Ukifungua hii wanaanza. Ukianza hii wanaanza. Ukiweka hairstyle hivi wanaweka hivi. <laughs> Wataweka hivi katika. We are here to release judgment. I say judgment. Somebody say vengeance. Against my mockers. Listen. 2 Kings 2.24 Elisha has come from receiving the anointing. And is now going to Jericho. He is going to Jericho. And there are some boys that had no discipline. They were not taught manners. So they saw a man of God and started speaking negative words. Bald headed! Bald headed! Bald headed! Bald headed! Look at that. Go up you bald head! Go up you bald head! Do you know that is mockery? If you are here and you are bald headed and anybody told you that they are in for judgment. <laughs> they are in for a destruction. Look at that. They were saying bald headed. Bald headed. Look at this. He turned back. He didn't ask them Whose children are you? He didn't ask them which Sunday school do you go to. He turned back, looked on them, and cast them in the name of the Lord. Children. He doesn't care whether they come to his church. He cast them. I said he cast them. He didn't pray for them. Hakuombea. Singing funny choruses. Father Abraham had many signs. There is a time for that and there is a time of die by fire. Kuna wakati ya hiyo na kuna wakati kufa kwa moto. Yes. He turned. Akageuka. And cast them in the name of the Lord. Akawalaani katika jina la Bwana. They came for two she bears. Wakatoka dumbo wawili wa kike mwituni. Out of the woods. Kutoka mwituni. And to 42 children. Wakawararua vijana wa 40 na wawili. Every bear ate for one and 21. Kila dumbo alikula watoto 21. And nobody arrested Elisha to go and write statement. Hakuna mtu alimshika Elisha kuandikisha statement. No OCA said we are doing investigation. Hakuna polisi aliyesema tunafanya uchunguzi. Which investigation? Uchunguzi gani? He will also be under a cast during investigation. Kwa sababu atalaaniwa wakati kufanya uchunguzi. Nobody told him you have to write a statement. Hakuna mtu alimwambia lazima uandike statement. A time is coming. Wakati unakuja. And this is the hour. Na hawasani hii. People will fear you. Whatever you shall say, it shall happen. That is the power you carry. That is the power you carry. You speak to a city, it will agree with you. Speak to your business, it will hear you. Any man or woman passing in this shop with witchcraft, may they stuck here. I find them in the morning. Yuli atakuja kupupu hapa. Atajaribu kubasuruari katainita mkuta hapa wa subuhi. 
if we chase carry that power Kama wachawa na nguvu What about believers? Leo aminio You nangobu. carry more power. Ona nguvu zaidi. And I am praying right now. Ninaomba wakati huu. Yeye yote aliye na biashara yes. na wachawi wako pale. Oh, yes. May they be arrested. Hey, May they be arrested. Wachawi wasikwe. May they be arrested. Wachawi wasikwe. May they be arrested. Wachawi wasikwe. Yeye yote anavunja mayai ya uchawi. Hey. May they be arrested. Right outside your shop. Marinche. Right outside your shop. Ninja right outside your door in the name of Jesus hey, that is what will happen this is the night of vengeance be seated <laughs> listen why should witches have more power than believers why it's because you don't know your authority there is a preacher kuna muhubiri every sunday before they go to church kile jumapili kabla kwenda kanisani they find somebody had come to the altar and helped himself kama kuna mtu alikuwa amekapata kuna mtu alikuwa amejisaidia kwenye madhabahu every sunday kile jumapili every sunday kile jumapili the only thing he would say na kitu tu angesema nani huyu anaonesheke tu matharao that is the only language he knew hey that's the only thing he knew to say alijua kusema ni nani huyu atatumia madhabahu come and found a heap wakati mwingine angepata mlima very fresh ambao ni because it was steam it's like a steam engine the only thing he would say kitu tu angesema wa jamen hii matharau kani eh hii ni matharau kweli ama anataka kufa jesus christ mtu anataka kufa kwa let them try around here <laughs> let them try in your house let them try in your shop let them try if i be a man of god that will be the last that will be the last to go to a toilet hey. the night of vengeance Huwezi fungua duka na hakuna mteja because an enemy came kwa sababu adui alikuja while men slept wakati watu walilala hey, today we are not asleep leo hatulali it is fire for fire moto chuya moto i say fire for fire moto chuya moto can you shout like thunder fire for fire fire for fire i can't hear you moto chuya moto louder be seated to get hey. listen skia another man of the same caliber mtu wa aina hiyo hiyo he finds in his farm anapata kwa shamba lake people were helping themselves in that land kwamba watu walikuwa wanajisaidia kwa hilo shamba so he came to this kind of a meeting akaja kwa mkutano kama huu the pastor was giving anointing oil na pale mtungaji alikuwa anapatiana mafuta ya upako anointing oil akabeba mafuta ya upako he went and poured oil on all those pupus ye kaenda kama agia bila chozo cha kazi mwagia ile mafuta wherever they came from kwa mahali walitoka i close the door mimi nafunga milango don't joke with those prayers sicheza na mama don't joke with those kind of prayers sicheza na mama mbaya aina hiyo and he went akaenda zake 3 days baada ya siku tatu 4 days siku nne 5 days siku tano some three men came wanaume watatu wakaja they are storm they have not gone to toilet for 4 days tumbo zao zimefura hawajaenda cho siku nne That is what will be happening to some people here. Your enemy will come in the morning. <laughs> hey. Your enemy will come to the shop. They will kneel down and say mama ni samehe. I am the one who has been here last night. Mimi nilikuwa hapa jana. Ni samehe stay kufa. I prophesy. I prophesy. Before the cock crows. I say before the cock crows. May your enemy be exposed. May your enemies be exposed. Somebody say my father my god. Sema baba mungu wangu. Expose. My enemy My enemies. My enemies. My enemies. My enemies. My enemies. We can't be in the same place every day. Hatuwezi kuwa mahali pamoja kila siku. The shop is stocked. 
kwamba duka limejaa vitu and you can't sell anything na hauzi chochote the devil is a liar satan ni muongo the devil is a liar satan ni muongo by monday ufikia jumatatu you will make a sale you have never done utauza vile hujawahi you will make a sale you have never done nafanya mauzo hujawahi sana in the name of jesus mashina la yesu you can't have matatus ya kusonga kwa sababu haipati watu hey, haitakuwa ya kusonga Apana. ni ukifika unajaza uh, ukimwaga unajaza unajaza ah, i prophesy your days of sorrow they are coming to an end your days of sorrow of your enemies will begin today hey elisha turned elisha kapinduka and cast them in the name of God. A man of God. Mtumishi wa Mungu. He cast them. Ali walaani. Children. Watoto. Not even grown-ups. Ambao sio watu wazima. A time to speak to your business. Wakati wa kuzungumzia biashara yako. Is now. Ni sasa. A time to look at your certificates. Wakati wa kuangalia biashara yako. My father my God. Sema baba Mungu. Whoever closed my doors. Yote alifunga milango yangu. My certificates are valid. Yetu zangu zinaitwa. Whoever closed. Ambaye alifunga. Whoever you are. Wewe ni nani? Wherever you are. Mali uko. Die by fire. Kufa kwa moto. Hey. Prayers of no mercy. Maombi bila huruma. Prayers of no mercy. Maombi yasiyo na huruma. Listen to this. Sikia. Be seated for a minute. Tuketi kwa dakika moja. Listen to this. Sikia. Psalms 149. Tika Zaburi 149. Verse number 6. Mstari wa 6. Vengeance night. Usiku wa kisasi. Before we attack the accusers. Kabla hatujaingilia wale ambao ni washtaki. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth. Sifa kuu za Mungu na ziwe vinywani mwao. So sifa ziwe vinywani. Mm. Hey, look at that. Alia. And a two edged sword in their hands. Na upanga mkali kuwili mikononi mwao. Those are two things. Ni mambo mawili. Praises in your mouth. Sifa kwenye kinywa. And our sword. Na upanga malo ni neno. Is the word of God. Neno la Mungu. And a sword. Na upanga <laughs> in their hands Mikonone. for the purpose of what wakusudi gani read together one, two, three. to execute vengeance louder to execute vengeance upon the heathen aha and punishments upon the people there are people after today kuna watu baada ya leo they will be punished because of your presence watadhibiwa kwa sababu ya uwepo wako i say may god punish your enemies mungu adhibu madui zako may god punish your mockers mungu adhibu anakuthi yake may the heathen that fight your career oh na wakafiri wanaofika kazi yako receive execution of vengeance oh wakapata kisasi kwa mungu whatever is mocking your god they shall receive vengeance watapokea kisasi hey any man or woman that has been announcing your obituaries ambaye amekuwa akitangaza kifo chako asking kwani when will they die wanauliza utakufa lini may the vengeance of god rest upon you kisasi cha mungu kiwe juu ya kichwa chao you are not here to die au kwa hapa kufa you are here to begin living au kwa hapa kwanza kuishi i open a new chapter in your life fungua sura mpya maisha yako i open a new chapter fungua sura mpya kwako i open a new chapter fungua sura mpya kwako in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus. Ashina la Yesu. 